Hey, what's up guys? It's Doug, KB2UKA. I want to show you something really cool that I never realized until today. Okay, if you're running Thetis, um, I'm running it on a beautiful uh, uh, widescreen curved monitor. Okay, um, what is it? It's an MSI monitor. It's a beautiful monitor. And uh, Thetis, and, and this is kind of a plain, what you're seeing right here is kind of a plain black, uh, background for me. I've, I've had much more elaborate, but I like the way this looks. All these years, I've been allowing Windows to decide whether or not to use my GPU. Unbelievable. So here's a quick tip, all right? Right-click on your uh, display, click Display Settings. This bad boy is going to pop up. Let's uh, make this bigger for you guys. Uh, yep, and let's get it out of my camera view. Okay. Uh, scroll down to graphics. Click graphics. And then right here where it says add desktop application, you're going to click that. You're going to find, um, for most of us, it will be in your C drive, program files, open HP SDR folder, and then Thetis, you're going to find the Thetis EXE file and you're going to select that, which I've already done, and it's going to add Thetis to these list of programs. You're going to click the drop down and then for GPU performance, you're going to select high performance and then the name of your GPU. After you select your GPU, you're going to simply restart the computer and that's going to be saved and in play. Um, the, the default was allowing Windows to decide how to process your graphics with Thetis. This will force Thetis to be offboarded directly to your GPU. Uh, very slightly, but I have noticed even crisper, uh, brighter color since I've done this. The more you know, the more you have. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this quick tip. KB2, UKA. Take care.